Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Shakira. Thank you so much for clicking that button to watch this video. Um, if you're here for the first time, welcome. And if you're one of my subscribers, welcome on back. Everyone out there who's watching, if you have not already, I invite you to subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell so that you could be notified as soon as I upload. You know, as this video is going along, I hope you guys are commenting and just getting in on the conversation because this is a really good conversation. There was a lot going on with this topic um, but I want to get into the Kylie skin collection um, I've been using it for a week so I want to give you guys my results I want to tell you guys information I found out and I want to give you the real tea so if you want to sip you know what to do keep on watching <laughs> Alrighty, let's get into it. Um, for this video, obviously we're talking about skin, so I want to show my skin. Um, I don't have on any makeup. Obviously, this is because I definitely want you guys just to take me in and get a really good look. We're going to get into um, the product for today's video. Today, I just kind of want to review and go over and give my impression and results for Kylie Skin. Um, those of you who were able to get your hands on it, um, the first release, you've had it for about a good week. And I know this last week that there was also a restock. So hopefully you guys were able to get your hands on it if you wanted it, because if I'm correct, I heard that it's all sold out again. So yeah, it's, it's flying off the shelves. Um, and it looks like people, you know, they're going for it. Um, the things that I want to talk about today are just my personal experiences with it, my um, personal opinion, and um, just give you guys a little bit of contrast because I know with anything, there's always negative, um, there's positive, um, and I just want to fall wherever I fall with that. And yeah, so I do want to start off with showing you guys the actual product and the prices in case you guys want to get yourself some um, whenever there's a restock or anything like that. If you are interested in getting the entire set, um, the entire Kylie Skin set, um, that retails for $125. The other item that I got was the Kylie Skin Travel Bag. Um, this goes for $22 and I definitely wanted to get this just because for me it just seemed like it was easier and I just felt like I would be able to keep it all together. I know right now my skin collection and all my skin stuff is everywhere so it was very smart in my opinion on her and to make that because I know I was sold. I was like yes I need the bag too. <laughs> so I just have the bag and I just put my little like cotton balls in there and it's just like it's perfect and I know I can just grab that and I have everything I need for my skin so good job on her part if you guys are interested in getting the uh, foam facial wash the foam facial wash goes for $24 if you guys are interested in getting the walnut uh, facial scrub this walnut facial scrub goes for $22 if you guys are interested in getting the vanilla milk toner um, the vanilla milk toner this one's really good this goes for $22 I really really like this one the eye cream um, this one also a really good one this goes for $20 I really like the applicator that's on the end of this one um, really smooth this really really helps um, with the application of the eye cream and um, if you are interested in getting this is the vitamin C serum um, the vitamin C serum that one goes for $28 a little bit up because it's a serum the serums are like super super good and then lastly is the uh, facial moisturizer if you guys are interested in getting facial moisturizer um, this goes for $24 now I want to talk about um, actually using the product and the order that it should go in. Um, for me, I think, and a lot of other people, there was a little bit of disappointments out there. 
Um, I think people jumped really, really fast to get this up on their channels and, and do, you know, do their reviews and stuff like that. But there were, you know, things that were done out of order, um, things done too quickly. There was a whole debacle with how fast Kylie was washing her face and all of that good stuff. So um, I did just want to show you guys my routine and this has nothing to do with Kylie. This is just how I would do my routine, you know, regardless of the product name that I'm using. First and foremost, um, the order that you want to go in specifically with all of the things that Kylie has, um, you want to go in order first with the facial wash. You want to go in with the facial wash with your face wet. When I use the facial wash, I'm telling you guys, the products are so good, you only need one pump, okay? Do not pump more than once. And I know you will probably feel the inclination to do it, not with this. I do not know what formula um, is in here that's really making it, um, I guess, really give and go for a while like that. Um, but this literally only requires one pump and it will go all over the face, okay? Um, I personally start on my cheeks you know and I want to make sure I get it down here like on my chin you know I make sure I get my nose definitely want to get the forehead area and I make sure that I'm getting my temples the temples is where I like to begin to kind of get near the hairline as well because the hairline sometimes people neglect to get that but you should really get kind of close and everything is done in little baby circular motions so you feel the magic with the facial um, wash, you really feel the magic and it. it's, it's really silky. The facial wash, I mean, it is such a silky goodness. Like it's so, so good. It's really, really silky and nice and I love it. I, I, I mean, your skin feels really good while you're cleaning it and when you wash your face off, your skin really does feel clean. It has that nice, good, clean feel. So you do really begin to feel the magic right away. And it's very magical that you only need one pump. That part I was really, really excited about. Honestly, I do feel like out of all the products, I do feel like the facial wash um, is probably the star. So that is the first step. The next step, um, you want to go in with the walnut scrub. Now, with the walnut scrub, you don't need a lot. You only need just a little bit, just a, like a, a dime size um, amount. With the walnut scrub, you want to go in on a wet face. So you're, it's perfect after you're done washing your face because your face is still wet. Don't dry your face off, just leave your face wet. You want to do this on wet skin. You know, you wanna start on your cheeks. You definitely wanna get your chin, you wanna go into your nose. If you guys have a lot of white heads, black heads, things like that, you wanna make sure you're scrubbing that nose area really good. You wanna go up, make sure you get the bridge of your nose and you're coming and getting your forehead. And again, get a little close to that hairline. With the facial scrub, um, I do actually like to go over my lips. Um, it's a really good time to do it. It does get your lips smooth. I do find that you know, with scrubs and stuff like that, it's, you know, your lips can take it. So I did use this on my lips and I felt like my lips, it got the dead skin off. So that was really, really good too. The most important thing about this is any scrub, you do not want to do this lower part of your eye. This, this is very, very sensitive. Um, the skin is a little bit softer under your eyes. What you wanna do is go below, go up your bridge, around your temples, and then coming back in, but you don't want to touch this area right here. It's super, super sensitive and it's just soft. It's just a more delicate skin. So never really scrub right there. Stay clear of your eye area. You don't want any of these um, ingredients getting in your eyes. That would just not be a good thing. So when you're doing your scrub, just remember, stay away from your eyes. Any scrub that you're using, any scrub. After the scrub, you want to pat your face dry. Gently pat your face dry. Um, with the scrub, I have to say, you guys, and I just have to be very very honest um, a lot of people were going crazy about 
this scrub and, and the fact that it's walnut and how it's gonna damage your skin and things like that. Well, I just wanna give you guys a little bit of information because I do feel like this blew up a little far um, because of the name on it and I do get it. I'm not un, un, uh, I'm not unaware of, you know, um, they, they are targets, you know, plus Kylie's brand new. It's like people were just like, how are we just gonna put something on our skin from you? You, you know, you, you just started doing this and all the above and they're all really great points. But I just wanna give you guys a little bit of information. Um, I asked a um, dermatologist, I wanted to ask someone who was a professional and, and get their opinion just so I can pass it on to you guys. And um, I'm not saying any names or anything like that, but just know that they, I have seen them clear skin. Okay, they have worked on probably your favorite entertainers and artists out there. Like they are legit. Their work um, stands for itself. They've been in doing this for a while. They are not brand new to the scene. Okay, so um, this is is coming from a legit source. <laughs> I just want you guys to know. I didn't just ask any old body. Um, but I wanted to ask. I said, should people use scrubs? Is there a big deal with? walnut scrubs because I have a scrub that uses volcanic sand and surely that's worse um, just so you guys know my routine I really as far as scrubs I don't have a consistent one just being honest um, I will just go and get a facial every now and then um, but I do have one scrub aside from this one that I just got the other scrub that I have is by Ole Henriksen um, and this is the pore balance facial um, sauna scrub and you guys this has volcanic sand in it volcanic sand the walnuts could not be worse than volcanic sand my thing is should we be using walnut should we be using volcanic sand? Like, what should we really be using? This is what I want to share with you guys is the real question because I think people were getting, like I said, hung up on the name. Well, they let me know and they said, don't do it. And I said, don't do walnut or volcanic sand or both. They said none. Don't do any of them. So I said, should people use scrubs? You know, and if, if we are going to be scrubbing, what should we use? They said, it really depends on the skin type and the condition. I don't recommend scrubs. I recommend a physical or chemical treatment for exfoliation once a month. So here we go, guys. You know, it's, we should not be using any scrubs. And I totally understand the idea of using a chemical. You know, you think about even when people have, you know, issues with their skin, it's kind of like we need to treat it like with medicine, not necessarily scrubbing on it. So I just want to once and for all just say, let's not get too hung up on Kylie and her name and how new she is. I love Olay, but I've been putting volcanic sand on my skin. That's surely worse. And I also gotta say this, if I had to choose, I'm just using Ole Henriksen because I have it. I don't have anything against any of these products. I'm just saying, this is what I have in my cabinet. If I had to choose between these two, I'm being very, very honest with you guys, this one is way more gentle. This one is not even as abrasive as this. You guys, this literally has like a grain of sand in it, okay? So, it's not that we shouldn't be using walnut and Kylie, Kylie, Kylie don't know what she's doing. If you're not gonna use the walnut scrub, guess what? Go in your cabinet because you still got volcanic scrub in there. Go get rid of all the scrubs, okay? That's the real true tea. We probably shouldn't be using scrubs at all. In the world of scrubs though, I gotta tell you, I'm just addressing it. This is not that bad. I've used worse. If we really want to talk about damaging our skin, come on. Go in your cabinet and figure it out. And don't buy anything else on the shelves because they, they're not any worse than this, <laughs> you know? So it's very gentle. It's not as crazy as you guys think it is. I'm just saying, if you do want to use a scrub, it's not that harsh. You probably have used worse. So let's 
just put that to rest okay <laughs> next in your steps is the toner um, with the toner I, I this is another one that I love so with the toner um, this really surprised me most toners that I have or have used in the past um, whether they have alcohol in them or not they're all water-based and something that I really really liked about this is it's like it really is like milky creamy and I really really like that you want to use the toner on your skin after it's been pat dry all you'll need is a cotton ball or either a cotton pad toners are to still clean and get inside of your pores I'm not sure if most people know that but toners you use a cotton ball or either the cotton pads and you know, you you are still getting the dirt, you guys. I know it sounds crazy. You use a toner with a cotton ball and you're still gonna get some dirt. All the leftover dirt, even pollution, things like that, you wanna really use the toner to get the really root of it. And I don't know if you guys can see it on my cotton ball, but even after washing your face, even after scrubbing your face. You wanna use toner because it's getting the very last residues inside of your pores. It's that last and final good cleanse. And what I love about her um, toner is this is where you start to see the glow. This is the next magical moment. Your skin feels so supple and good and, and there's just like the beginning of this nice little glowy shine that happens. This is also um, the star of the set to me. I just feel like between the facial wash and the toner, those are my absolute favorites. If I had to choose, if you guys don't wanna get everything, that's fine, but get the facial wash and get the toner 100% alright your next step is the eye cream um, the eye cream I especially love the applicator tip um, this tip right here is really really smooth I saw another um, influencer and they kind of went in and they were just trying to make be very dramatic about this tip but I'm here to tell you guys this tip is really smooth and it's really good to apply you just want to apply it like it's concealer and then after you apply it down underneath your eyes like concealer with the applicator then I just like to take my middle finger and I like to tap and just get underneath my eye and right here on the side where the crow's feet start to develop and I go a little bit into my crease a little bit in my lid this has caffeine in it and all of the things that really wake up your eye and take the puffiness down so um, the eye cream is really good um, the eye cream is a little on the thick side um, I'm used to eye creams being a little bit thinner this one's a little bit thicker um, not saying it's bad or good but just to inform you it is on the thick side you do not need that much and a little bit goes a long way really all of these products you guys that is something that I will say a little goes a long way I think the first day that I um, did the uh, set my skin was a little bit maybe over uh, I just I think I might have overdid it and did too much you can actually suffocate your skin a little bit so you'll start to sweat so the first day I was a little bit more shiny um, than the last day because I dialed it back and I was like okay these products are really good and I don't need that much and so um, yeah only a tiny squeeze of that eye cream underneath each eye tap it in and you should be good alrighty the next step um, is the vitamin C serum same thing you only need one pump a little goes a long way I just like to kind of rub that little bit amongst my fingertips and I actually kind of do like a tapping motion I kind of like just tap in to my face I know it sounds weird but I tap it on my cheeks my chin my forehead I kind of tap it all around and then I just kind of work my way in with it and I know that sounds really weird but when, if you get these products you'll know what I mean because again the products are just so good and um, they really do go a long way I can't say it enough so you don't need that much um, this is where you also will really begin to see um, shine your skin is going to really have like a it's like a sticky supple feeling you know um, you may or may not be used to like this I don't want to say sticky but it's just very it's tacky you know it's a very tacky feel um, it will seep in don't worry it doesn't say that way but you do have this initial very very baby soft 
supple feeling at this point is the best way that I can explain it. Next, your last step is to moisturize, okay? So you're gonna use the face moisturizer. Um, I, it took me a second to figure this out, but when you open this, I believe you just squeeze this down because my pump wasn't working a couple of times, but you, I believe if you shake it down, cause I didn't know if there was like a, I didn't know if there was a, like a tube here, you know, picking up the product, or if there is no tube and you just shake it down, but um, I believe because it's in this type of uh, container, it's about just squeezing it down and then pumping it. But um, same thing guys, one pump, you do not need that much. I, I just rub it in between the tips of my fingers and then I go in on my cheeks, same thing, chin, I get my nose and um, my forehead. And so, yeah. Um, by the time you're here with the uh, face moisturizer, your skin is, it's, it's really glowing. You know, it's glowing at this point. It's really, really even more just supple. I can't really explain it, but you can kind of just like touch your cheeks like this and everything just feels super, super baby soft. And um, it, it, it's it's good you know I didn't have like any I don't have acne issues I don't really have like a whole lot of issues my skin is maybe oily to normal um, so for me it was more so about seeing what this product could do for my actual pores you know I wanted to see would my pores calm down would they would they shrink would they you know would they refine um, you know my my problem area if anything I have my first signs of wrinkles you know right here so I'm always looking to see what can you know refine those wrinkles and and, and give me like the collagen and the, and the plumpness that I need and I really do feel like after seven days like my skin um, it, it has calmed down and I feel like you know my pores and everything they're just a little bit more calm that's the best way I can explain it and so um, I did see results just after a week, you know, so who knows what it's gonna look like after the month. That is all of the products. That is um, the order that you should go in if you do get the entire set. And that's pretty much my feedback on this entire, you know, collection. And I, I gotta tell you guys, you know, it really didn't irritate my eyes. My eyes didn't burn. I've definitely used products before where like they irritate um, my eyes later like I just they just I don't know it just doesn't feel right I didn't really feel any of that even here um, I know some ladies even if you uh, you know get your eyebrows waxed or if you wax here or if you nair here whichever you know that is kind of rough on the skin um, these products did not burn you know that was also a plus for me I was kind of paying attention to that I was like you know are these products gonna feel weird on the areas if I get you know my eyebrows done if I you know get my lip done you know if it, I pay attention to all those little things and it was really gentle you know nothing um, has an overpowering smell I know some people may not be able to handle smells the only one that has like maybe a bit of um, a scent but it's a really it's small it's not that big of a scent um, the foaming facial wash it does have a very small scent but it's it's nothing that that I feel would bother anyone but again that's just all preference you know what I mean but everything here there's no um, scent it, it was gentle um, nothing burned or irritated my eyes or anything like that I I guess all I would say is I suggest it to you if you don't already have you know a skin routine and you're looking for one I say this one is legit enough um, if you are absolutely you know just not sure about the scrubs you don't have to get the scrub like I said I gave you guys um, a professional you know person's opinion and they just they didn't suggest using any scrubs you know but in that case you would have to go and get the products that are going to you know chemically treat your skin you know if you're gonna be doing kind of like a scrub pill type of situation you're gonna have to invest in that um, but I just gotta be honest guys people do use scrubs and in light of that this one is not that harsh. It really, really isn't. So the stars to me, guys, I would say would be the foaming facial wash 
and also the vanilla milk toner i feel like these two if you you know just want to get one or two things i know these for sure are amazing washing your face with this and then going in with this toner and then maybe like your favorite um moisturizer i think that's a pretty good combination um that's pretty much what i feel about it so hopefully you know you guys have gotten a little bit more information and you know i don't know hopefully you've gotten some answers and some things that um you were wondering about it and yeah the other thing that's available um that i did not get this is the only other thing on there that i didn't get but um the makeup removing wipes those are ten dollars um just didn't get them because i just just didn't need them the ones that i get i think are cheaper but hers are ten dollars um and so yeah that's the only thing that i don't um have so yeah guys that is pretty much everything in this collection um this is you know my skin i'm going to continue to use it i i do want to get the benefits out of it i have paid for it i want to get my coins worth but um yeah i hope you guys were informed got a little bit more information that's pretty much the whole entire uh collection that's available uh it's friday i hope you guys are having an amazing day hope you guys have an amazing weekend and as always you guys Keep your frequency up. Find your frequency and feel good. Survive.